Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Prime Minister of Israel Naftali Bennett at Sakhir Palace. His Majesty welcomed him and expressed aspiration that this visit will contribute in bolstering cooperation to more advanced positive steps that serve mutual interests. They reviewed the cooperation between the two countries and means of developing them to achieve their aspirations of further cooperation and joint work within the framework of the Declaration in Support of Peace and the Ibrahim Accords signed between the two sides. His Majesty the King affirmed that Bahrain's vision and approach are based on the firm principles of good neighborliness and mutual respect and promoting the values of understanding, dialogue, cooperation, peaceful coexistence, tolerance and reapproachments among people. His Majesty expressed hope that security, peace and stability to prevail in the Middle East to bring prosperity to its countries, people and the world. The two sides affirmed to continue supporting bilateral relations and cooperation to enhance their interests and serve security, stability, development and prosperity in the region. His Majesty asked the Israeli Prime Minister to convey his greetings and appreciation to the President of Israel, Isaac Herzog, and his wishes of continued progress and prosperity to the Israeli people. For his part, the Israeli Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to his Majesty the King for the warm reception and hospitality, expressing pleasure with visiting the Kingdom to continue strengthening joint cooperation for the benefit of the two countries. He noted His Majesty's keenness in strengthening bilateral cooperation in various fields, wishing Bahrain and its people continued progress and prosperity. It will be a fruitful visit, a successful visit because of his determination and leadership towards a joint integrated effort for the best of the two peoples. I thank you for coming here. Your Majesty, uh, it's been a huge honor uh, to visit your wonderful kingdom of uh, Bahrain, and I admire your courage and uh, your determination to build your your country, uh, and I think uh, we discussed many ways to, to build new bridges and an architecture for a stronger and more stable region. Thank you. And I'm uh, looking forward to continuing this uh, remarkable we relationship. Will, inshallah. By inshallah. the will of God. By the will of God. In Hebrew, it's Bezrat Hashem. In Arabic, it's Inshallah. Thank you very Thank you much. Much. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Emir of Kuwait, Zainal Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, on the 21st anniversary of the National Action Charter. His Highness the Emir of Kuwait expressed sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King, praising Bahrain's achievements and wishing His Majesty abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, members of the Royal Family Council to greet His Majesty on the occasion of the 21st anniversary of the National Action Charter. They congratulated His Majesty the King on this national occasion, expressing pride in the Kingdom's achievements in all fields, thanks to the wise leadership of His Majesty the King, which made it hold a high and advanced position among world countries. They also expressed pride in the efforts of His Majesty in developing Bahrain's relations with broadly and friendly countries and consolidating its honorable positions in various global forms in addition to strengthening its pioneering role in its Arab and international surroundings. They prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty with abundant health and happiness to continue leading the Kingdom's blessed march of development during his prosperous era.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sikhir Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Speaker of the Representatives Council Fawzia bin Abdullah Zainal, the Chairman of the Shura Council Ali bin Salah Al Salah, and their deputies, where they congratulated His Majesty the King on the occasion of the 21st anniversary of the National Action Charter. They expressed their deep pride in His Majesty's wise leadership and approach, hailing the Kingdom's comprehensive achievements made during His Majesty's era. Zain al Anas Saleh affirmed that His Majesty's unlimited support to the legislative authority has had a great impact on the important achievements that were made represented in the development of the system of laws and legislation that meet the aspirations and needs of citizens in addition to consolidating the foundations of the democratic approach and continuing to build on national gains. They prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty with abundant health and happiness and wished Bahrain continued prosperity, security and stability under the leadership of His Majesty. Poet Muhammad Hadi Al-Halwaji recited a poem on the occasion. قد صغت باسمك أنجما وكواكبا قد صغت باسمك أنجما وكواكبا مذ صغت بالشعر الجميل مناقبا وجلوت بالكلمات أجمل غادة حسناء تجلو بالجمال غياهبا هيفاء إن خطرت أرى خطر الهوى حولي يثير هواجسا ورغائبا لم أدر من أي الجهات رأيتها فجميعها حسن يثير متاعبا قد لامست قلبي بأجمل صورة مذ أسبلت فوق النهود ذوائبا وتمايلت غنجا وماست رقة تبدي وتخفي في الجمال عجائبا كالريم إن خطرت تداعب مقلتي وترد من قلب الشباب الذاهبا خمسون عاما قد مضت وأنا أنا ما زلت للغيد الحسان معاتبا وشربت من كأس الغرام ممنيا نفسي بأن ألقى الحبيب الغائبا لم أتعظ مما لقيت ولم أكن يوما أخاف من الزمان معايبا وأرى بأن العمر مهما أقبلت أيامه سيظل حلما غائبا أسعى له وأخافه لكنني في الحالتين أرى جهاما كاذبا أو بعد ما بيض القذال أريد من بعض الجميلات الحسان مطالبا وأريد منهن الجواب لسؤلتي وأرى الجواب مناورا ومواربا لكن ألح لعلهن بلحظة يشفقن أو يبدين قولا راغبا لهفي على تلك السنين وقد مضت عجلا تقطب سحنة وحواجبا أقسمت بالله العظيم وإنني ما كنت عن قول الحقيقة ناكبا إن الحياة جميلة لمن ابتغى للخير بابا أو أمات مثالبا وسعى لنيل المكرمات وكان في كل المواقف للفضيلة طالبا كالفارس الشهم النبيل أخنها والرأي من تخذ المكارم صاحبا ومن امتطى صهوات كل ملمة فأعادها للرشد تسلس راكبا وإذا أشار بكفه لكريهة قد قطبت أرخت إليه ركائبا يسطو على صعب الأمور بعزمه فيحيل جلمدها غبارا ساربا وتراه إن حمي الوطيس بمعرك 
كالليث يقتحم المصاعب غاضبا لولا سماحته لقلت بأنه نار تصب على العدو لواهبا وتراه في سوح العطاء كأنه غيث يسح من الغيوم سواكبا ينصب من تلقاء راحة كفه فترى المفاوز من نداه عواشبا تترى بيمناه السحائب إذ ترى في كل أنملة ندا وسحائبا His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhi Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Bahrain Defence Force Commander in Chief Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the President of the National Security Agency Lieutenant General Adil bin Khalifa Al Fadl, and a number of officers who were there congratulated His Majesty the King on the 21st anniversary of the National. Action Charter, wishing many happy returns and His Majesty abundant health and happiness to continue leading the Kingdom's development march. His Majesty exchanged congratulations with the attendees on the occasion. On this national occasion, His Majesty the King affirmed that the anniversary of the National Action Charter, the NAC, is a promising launch of the comprehensive modernization process of state institutions and its constitutional authorities and came in response to the aspirations of the people of Bahrain with an unprecedented consensus making an honorable stance that embodied the authentic Bahraini identity that aspires for development and civilizational advancement. His Majesty noted that after the 21st First anniversary, the Kingdom continues its comprehensive civilizational process as a result of the cohesion and unity of its people, as well as their determination, sincerity and noble vision to serve their country and raise its status in all events. His Majesty added that the Charter is constant, so with its renewed spirit and promising vision will remain a motive for the people of Bahrain towards further growth and advancement of legislative institutions, as well as the increase of population their participation according to an advanced democratic approach. His Majesty noted that believing in the necessity for increasing achievements is the successful means of establishing the rules of the civil state based on justice and equality without discrimination, affirming that the Kingdom will always work towards enhancing the values of moderation, tolerance and coexistence in the face of extremism and intolerance and will establish the pillars of political work that are based on the principles of of the Charter, Constitution and respect for the rule of law and independence of national decision, adding that the Kingdom will remain an oasis for goodness and peace. His Majesty the King expressed pride and appreciation for the achievements of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of providing 40,000 housing units upon the directives of His Majesty the King, expressing aspiration that this achievement would be a motivation to achieve further integrated services for citizens. Regarding global developments, His Majesty asserted that Bahrain has chosen peace as an approach and dialogue as a strategic option and has rejected extremism and hatred to achieve achieve security, stability and prosperity for the people and resolve disputes peacefully through unifying the efforts of the international community to establish comprehensive and continuous peace. His Majesty expressed pride in the important achievements made by the legislative authority in developing laws and legislation since the beginning of the democratic process in the Kingdom, hailing the level of positive cooperation and fruitful coordination between the legislative and executive authorities and the importance of enhancing them to achieve prosperity for the country and its people. His Majesty commended the sincere efforts of the people of Bahrain and their dedication in serving their country and raising its status in international events. He also praised the morals of the people of Bahrain and their keenness on mutual respect, interdependence and solidarity, which stems from the Bahraini identity, which is a source of pride. His Majesty the King also lauded the youth energies and the importance of providing opportunities for them, as they have proven their competency and ability 
capability in serving their country. His Majesty highlighted the Bahraini community's values of tolerance, coexistence and pluralism, which enhanced its strength and cohesion and was reflected on the kingdom's status as a civilizational model among nations. He added that the NAC was a distinct launch to achieve all desired aspirations and it strengthened the process of reform, modernization, popular participation and the consolidation of Bahraini women's rights. It is also an important turning point in the history of the kingdom towards building a prosperous future. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the efforts made by all members of the armed forces and security services and their efficiency and sincere determination, stressing that the vigilant that the vigilant forces are the integral shield of the nation who perform their national duty in the fields of honor and heroism inside and outside the country with courage and ability and they will always be a source of pride. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of the 21st anniversary of the National Action Charter. His Highness Sheikh Sultan hailed the achievements and development witnessed under the leadership of His Majesty, which maintains Bahrain's role and presence in the Gulf, Arab, and international forums. His Highness prays to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty with abundant health and happiness to make more national achievements in light of the comprehensive development process under His wise leadership. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the 21st anniversary of the National Action Charter. His Highness Sheikh Sultan praised the continuous achievements, growth, development and reconstruction achieved by the Kingdom in various fields under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He wished His Royal Highness abundant health and happiness to continue achieving the goals of the comprehensive development process under the leadership of His his Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met and held official rounds of discussion with the Prime Minister of Israel, Naftali Bennett, at Qadibiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom of Bahrain's commitment alongside its allies to regional peace, thus creating development that benefits all. His Royal Highness also reaffirmed Bahrain's dedication to mutual understanding, dialogue, tolerance and peaceful coexistence while emphasizing Bahrain's wide-ranging efforts in supporting regional and international stability and sustainable development. سلام دولة الصين وسلام مملكة البحرين سلام
His Royal Highness welcomed the Prime Minister of Israel's official visit to Bahrain and emphasized the importance of strengthening the Bahraini-Israeli partnership in light of the signing of the Abraham Accords. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister then held official discussions with Bennett where regional and international topics of common interest were reviewed. His Royal Highness then held the luncheon, which was attended by a number of senior officials in honor of the Prime Minister of Israel and the accompanying delegation's official visit to Bahrain.
Meanwhile, the 10th mass wedding ceremony was held under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Azhan Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, with the organization of the Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan Foundation in the UAE to celebrate the marriage of a thousand young men and women, which coincides with the celebrations of the National Action Charter. Azhan Sheikh Nasser hailed the interests of His Majesty the King, the Honorary President of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, in humanitarian work in Bahrain, his support for citizens in various fields and occasions and his keenness on providing the means of a decent life for all Bahraini people. His Highness commended the depth of distinguished brotherly relations between Bahrain and the UAE. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also praised the efforts and support of the Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan Foundation and its cooperation in supporting Bahraini youth, stating that organizing this ceremony affirms the strength and durability of the historical relations between the two countries and the two brotherly people. His Highness also extended his congratulations to the newlyweds participating in the ceremony. The ambassador to the UAE uh, to Bahrain said that the UAE organizes annual mass wedding ceremonies for the youth to relieve their burdens and meet their aspirations. The deputy chairman of the RHF Board of Trustees, Sheikh Adnan bin Abdullah al Qatan, extended his sincere thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King and to His Highness the President of the UAE for their patronage and continuous support for the youth. He also expressed appreciation for the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister and His Highness Sheikh Nasser. Upon the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the aspirations of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the National Oil and Gas Authority, NOGA, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued a decision appointing Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza as an advisor to the company's Board of Directors. The appointment comes to include the long standing national expertise in the company's Board of Directors and in support of NOGA's efforts to adopt an institutional approach based on national expertise and resources as a primary focus for development. The Council of Representatives held its weekly session chaired by its speaker, Fawzia Zainal. The session approved the reports of the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee regarding Decree by Law No. 22 of 2021 on issuing and implementing the law in civil and commercial matters and Decree by Law No. 26 of 2021 amending some provisions of Decree by Law No. 30 of 2009 on the Bahrain Chamber of Economic, Financial and Investment Dispute Resolution. The meeting also approved the report reports of the Legal and Economic Affairs Committee on Decree by Law No. 25 of 21, amending some provisions of Law No. 10 of 2006 on the tasks and competencies of the National Oil and Gas Authority and on Decree by Law No. 20 of 2021, amending some provisions of the Commercial Companies Law. The Interior Ministry celebrated the National Action Charter anniversary through a number of activities and programs. They reflected the high national spirit and social principles and values highlighted by the Charter 21 years ago, as well as the wise vision and national and reform approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. A large number of people attended to express their support and gratitude to the leadership of His Majesty the King and appreciation of the efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman. Bin Hamad Al Khalifa. In Manama, Bahrain police organized a parade with the participation of the police band, mountain police, and motorcycles. The parade started at Bab al Bahrain and crossed Ais al Kabir Road on the police fort. Citizens and residents expressed appreciation to Bahrain police for efforts to protect national security, lives, property, and admiration for the parade. In line with what has been previously announced on the 31st of January 2022 and following approval by the Government Executive Committee, the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus announced the adoption of the Green Alert level starting today. The National Medical Task Force noted that the decision was taken following a review of the daily average number of cases in intensive care. If the rolling average of positive cases in intensive care is 50 or less for 14 days, it is deemed safe to move to the Green Level Alert. The task force noted that Bahrain had previously moved to the yellow alert level as a precautionary measure despite a low rolling average of positive cases in intensive care. 
And to speak more about that, we are joined over the phone by public health doctor, Dr. Muhammad Abdul Majid Al Awadi. Hello, Dr. Muhammad. It's good to have you here with us tonight. Can you tell us about the move to the green level today and your advice to the public to stay safe? Good evening to you, ma'am, and good evening to everyone who's listening. I know this question has been arising a lot between everyone. What what is happening now? What is this current level? Where we what, where are we currently with this pandemic? Definitely, it's a different stage than what we were two years ago or last year. Definitely different than in the beginning of the pandemic with all the vagueness that we had. The capacities that we have now and the facilities that we have now are different. We have things that we didn't have in the beginning, such as the vaccines, the medications, the facilities. Currently, this is a different stage of the virus, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't take the precautions that are set out by the National Task Force because there are people who are still being admitted to the hospital and to the ICU as per the numbers uh, posted by MOH. So it is still incumbent for everyone who has symptoms. Um, for example, you are close contact or you came from travel and you have symptoms, or even if you're just a person who feels like you have these flu-like symptoms to still get tested. It's still very important. And it's also eminent for people who still didn't get vaccinated or still didn't get boosters to still get it. Because, as I mentioned, we are at a different stage. We are at a different level currently than what we were two years ago. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we shouldn't take these precautions or shouldn't take um, these things seriously still. So I would say in conclusion, let's still follow the necessary precautions, get tested if you have symptoms for your sake and for the people who are at home with you, uh, say, especially if those people are immunocompromised, people are old, of old age uh, or have comorbidities. So let's stay safe and still follow the necessary precautions. It's a different stage, but let's still follow this, uh, these precautions to move forward with uh, this pandemic in a very good way. Indeed, Dr. Mohamed Abdel Majid Al Awadi, thank you very much for joining us.